Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalia. I make tons of Weight Watchers related videos, so what I eat in a day is grocery hauls, food ideas, things like that, and also stay at home mom videos because I am a stay at home mom to a two year old who is joining me today. He's always in the background of a lot of my videos. So yeah, I'm super excited to be doing today's video because it is a WW Copycat fast food collab. So me and a bunch of other ladies who will who will all be linked down below there's so many of us like i cannot remember all of the names but they will all be linked down below because i know a lot of them are making really yummy food we linked down below but we are teaming up to do a ww copycat fast food collab so mine is going to be copycat panda express orange chicken panda express is one of my favorite fast food places ever so of course i had to come up with a recipe for orange chicken so basically i just went on pinterest and kind of looked at all of the recipes for their sauce but i tried to switch out the ingredients to make it more ww friendly so that's exactly what i did i hope you guys enjoy um this copycat panda express orange chicken and let me know your thoughts down below let me know if you try it so yeah Let's just get into the video. All right, so if you didn't know, if you're new here, I have a two-year-old son, um, so he's gonna be in the background making noises and stuff, but I wanted to go over the ingredients you're gonna need for this orange chicken. It looks like so much ingredients, which I try and stray away from recipes with so much ingredients, but I found a way to make Found a way, I found a way to make orange chicken pretty point friendly. So if you like orange chicken, don't like spending the points on it. I would stick around. Don't let the amount of ingredients scare you because if I can do it, you can do it. So I'm gonna go over the ingredients really, really quickly. You're gonna need some white vinegar. Um, this sugar is pretty important to get um, because it saves the most amount of points if you use granulated um, stevia. So just make sure it's really granu granulated. Um, to look like regular sugar and feel like regular sugar. It makes all the difference. You're gonna need some less sodium soy sauce, some sesame seed oil, cornstarch, vegetable oil. You're gonna need about a cup of panko breadcrumbs. I used a little bit of plain breadcrumbs and then the rest is panko. Um, some thin sliced chicken breast, two eggs. I have a character orange here because we're gonna juice it. Some they asked for minced ginger, but ground is what I use. <laughs> and then you want some minced garlic and water, some white wine vinegar, and that's it. So I wanted to go ahead and get all of that set out so you guys could get basically like a list. And I'm going to show you guys how to make WW friendly orange chicken. Also, you will need flour. I forgot to mention it because I keep my flour in this little canister, but I need a half a cup of flour. So that is everything you'll need. All right, so I'm gonna start with preheating my oven to 400 degrees. And then I'm going to dump the cup of panko in a little, this is like um, my like Nutribullet. You wanna put it in that or a food processor, or blender, or whatever, and get the panko like really, really fine. Um, I won't have to do mine that long because I use some plain, just like regular breadcrumbs that aren't as like thick or big, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there and then I'll show you what I mean. All right, so now it's super fine, almost like sand. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna put it back in my little bowl. So now I'm just gonna cut my chicken into chunks. Yes, baby. cup of flour in one bowl two eggs in another bowl and then my panko in one bowl so you got you're gonna want to dip it I'm trying to show you guys but I don't like have enough space <laughs> um, so 
you're gonna dip it in the flour first, then the egg, then the panko. So I'll basically show you. And then I have a cooking pan thing that I'm about to spray with some olive oil. I'm gonna dip it and then go set it over there. Like so. Alright y'all, so I, oh why are we blurry? <laughs> Um, my dishwasher is going on in the background, so sorry if you, if that's super loud, but I've basically coated all of my chicken pieces with the breadcrumbs, flour, and the eggs. So, that is all done. I have it sitting in a pan that I sprayed with canola oil. Okay, so now I'm just going to spray every piece with my canola oil, canola oil, or you can use the vegetable oil I showed you earlier with like a brush and just brush it on, but since I have the spray, I'm just going to use this one. This is going in the oven at 400 for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, if your oven's really hot, I would just watch it because mine gets really hot. So I'm probably going to set the timer for 20 minutes. But I like my orange chicken pretty crispy. So um, yeah, I'll just watch the time and let you guys know what I did at the very end. But I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven. Watch out, baby. Okay, so I have a saucepan right here. I'm going to take half a tablespoon of vegetable oil and put it in here. And then I'm gonna do two teaspoons of this garlic powder. Like I said, um, you probably could do um, like fresh ginger, but I don't have that, I only have this, so. I'm just gonna do two tablespoons or teaspoons of this powder. All right, and then I'm gonna do what my men's garlic, two teaspoons of that as well. And then as much crushed red pepper as you want. I know some people hate this, but I love it, so. So basically, I'm just gonna cook all of this until it's like fragrant. Mix it together. Two tablespoons of the white wine vinegar. So I'm going to just turn this on low heat and I'm going to juice this orange. I'm going to juice this orange really quickly. You need a fourth of a cup of orange juice, so I'm gonna just do that really quickly. Alright, so I had to use two oranges to get this orange juice. So I'm just gonna pour that in there, mix it together with the rest of the stuff. All right, then we're gonna do one teaspoon of sesame oil. Then we're gonna do three tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. sugar because I think oh wait no hold on we need 10 tablespoons of white wine or white vinegar I totally forgot this is the last Daddy. liquid ingredient I believe one two and then I'm gonna do two tablespoons of my pure sugar which like I said you want to make sure is pretty granulated so one Two, three, four. 
basically just gonna cook this on medium hot, high heat and just let it melt. Make sure all that sugar melts. Starch and add one tablespoon of this. This is what's gonna thicken your sauce. I literally love using cornstarch um, and like chili, anything that I want like super thick. I always put cornstarch in, so make sure you just mix that really well because um, it can stay pretty chunky. So just make sure you mix it and it will get really thick and yummy and just so good. Totally get an orange and like zest some of it in there. I saw a couple recipes say to do that, but I think I'm not going to just because I don't really have like a zester. But I think that would like probably take it to the next level. What your sauce should look like definitely looks like an orange chicken sauce. Um, I'm going to clean up my mess, but I will update you guys once this thickens. Okay, so my chicken is done. Um, pretty crispy on the top so I'm ready to eat and my sauce is really thick so now I'm just gonna pour this sauce over the chicken and toss it All right, I finished my orange chicken. You already ate one, but I want to know your, your good thoughts about it. Like, tell me how it is. It tastes like orange chicken. <laughs> Zach. It's got a tangy flavor. Like Panda Express, it is, I tried to copy the kinda, sauce. Kind of like Panda Express, not as crispy. Um, well, I couldn't fry it, so it's It's got it's a tangy baked. flavor, which is good. And uh, it's good. It's so nice like, and tender. one out of 10. Moist. Um, 10. No, don't be real. Nine and a half. Ten. Why? Why nine and a half? No, like why would you deduct it one point? Because not as crispy. crispy. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the hard part for me. But does it taste like Panda Express or similar? Yeah. Just like sugar free. Yeah. Okay. Because you don't use real sugar in it, so it's gonna taste a little bit sugar free. But I asked Zach to get some fried rice because I usually buy like the frozen vegetable fried rice, but he got brown rice. So we're having brown rice. You can have a cup for five points. And then um, I'm gonna do a cup of that for three points. So I'll show you guys the portions after I plate it. So I had a video of me showing you what the portions look like um, for a cup of the orange chicken and the rice, but of course I accidentally deleted it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed anyways. Definitely let me know if you decide to try it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you like Panda Express? Um, and make sure to check out all of the other ladies who are in this collab because I know they're making really, really good food. So yeah, thank you guys so much and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.